If you do enjoy this video, please drop a like, it would really help me out, and if you are new here, please consider unsubscribing, because that would also help me out too. And without further ado, let's start the video. Right, hello, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Heroic Hernandez, and today starts uh, a new promo, the What If promo, which you can see they've released a challenge player once again, Caputo, a guy I really enjoyed at the start of FIFA, I'd packed his inform on the first week, tried him out, and I really liked him, so I'm definitely going to try him out, and it's a new card to add to the club. So, as you can see, I need to do a few challenges for him. Uh, in a friendly so I'll quickly show you the team and then we'll get straight into completing what if Caputo so this is the team I am going to be going into a game with obviously I'm gonna have a lot of my silver subs because in this game mode for some reason you can only have bronzes and silvers no gold players which is sort of easy for me and sort of not because I have a lot of silver players but as you can see I've made my best squad possible while trying to fit in the bronze players needed so uh, all I need to do is sub people on and hopefully it should be some easy wins okay so I did forget to record the squad for the uh, first game but as you can see these are the subs I will be making for the whole game we'll have Insigne our uh, Italian Serie A player on that right wing. Sambia goes into a uh, center back and Dam goes onto the right back position uh, so that is basically the, all the subs we used for the whole of the games. Uh, obviously, when we did need to do the separate matches, we did make a montage and a separate Italian squad. But as you can see, in this first game, some really nice passing from Abayeme to play it to Jensen, who is surprisingly one of my bronzes, and uh, he quits in the first 10 minutes, which was quite useful to get our first win. And then moving on to our second game, a lot stronger of an opponent, Obviously, two quick centre-backs, Shea Adams and Gabriel. Uh, not Gabriel, sorry, Martinelli. And as you can see, Martinelli thrashes us in the first half of the game, scores in the first six minutes, and then runs all the way through my defence and scores in the tenth minute as well, which means I am 2-0 down. But just when I was thinking of quitting, obviously, my team pulls back. Uh, Wes Morgan, of all people, laying in the corner, and then Abed Yeme headering it home for near enough the leveller. But then he goes and puts me back in my place and makes it 3-1. So he's got the comfortable lead once again. But as you can see, a beautiful ball from Jensen to Mukhtar. And we need them outside the box goals done. And we need nice goals. So Mukhtar outside the box beautifully curved into that far right hand corner keeper not stopping that whatsoever and we are back into the game he then obviously does what he's done the whole game puts himself back ahead and back comfortably ahead with Shea Adams but then Adeyeme is played through in the 65th minute plays it to Insigne unselfish as you like Insigne taps in to get us some more of our challenges done and then in the 81st minute we're not going to give up Hani Mukhtar plays it in and then Insigne getting on that brace with a header in the 80th minute to make it 4-4 and go into extra time. And then Mukhtar drives through, drills it home to give us our second win uh, of the episode in the 113th minute. And then moving on into game three. Once again, I uh, concede early goals to my opponent. Poor defending from me. But then Wes Morgan once again with the corner to Okafor. And he heads it home to give us the leveller. Then he does some nice pass and play and scores. So he is back in the lead in the uh, 31st minute. But then we go back ahead. Insigne with some beautiful footwork just turns round, shoots near post as everyone else does in this game to make it 2 2 in the 34th minute. And then obviously we have to go and make it level. Insigne once again drilling it into that far post, meaning we take the lead just before half time. And then second half comes about, Insigne once again doing what he does best with that tidy footwork, then shoots far post, goes straight into that top right hand corner, and then we uh, take the win after this goal. As you can see, he sort of gave up, Adeyemi made sure he can score outside the box, and uh, that is basically 
all of our challenges well all of our tough challenges done only uh, in game two as well so we just need two more wins and a few more goals to uh, secure mostly all of Caputo as you can see game three I do believe this is or it might even be game four uh, full Italian squad trying to make sure he does all them Italians but that did not stop um, I don't even know who that was doing a beautiful chip shot and he quits to give us our fourth win and there you go as you can see after them four games we have completed four out of five of the challenges for Caputo we've assisted in two separate matches um, we've also done the four wins I do believe and score five goals uh, I'm pretty sure it was with Italian players or Serie A players all we need to do now though is score in eight more separate matches using I think it is Serie A players Italian players sorry so I'll make an Italian squad and uh, I'll sh show a little montage of all the goals now Right, and there we go, just after the montage you've just witnessed, we finally finished Caputo. We've successfully scored in 10 separate matches using an incredible set of teams. We did an Italian team and we did a uh, my German team, my Silver Stars team uh, to do all the hard t challenges and then the Serie A team to just do all the easy ones, which was just score in 10. And we have finally got the man I really enjoyed at the start of FIFA. His inform was incredible. Caputo. 89 pace, 82 physical, 86 dribbling and 87 shot. You couldn't ask for much more from a striker. Apart from maybe a bit more pass. But uh, passing isn't as effective for a striker as it is for say midfielders and wingers. But as you can see, 82 stamina, 99 jumping, 92 agility, 93 attack position, 90 finishing as well as some all right pace stats with a chem style on him he will be amazing and he will fit into the italian icon swaps which is uh, what i'm probably going to do next episode because uh, we're also going to try to do cucarella with the spanish icon swaps and i will have to try and do fafana as well as this legan player and ruben neves because i like collecting all the cards and they do come in handy i also have successfully done another what if card uh, with this 72 silver stars where uh, he's got a very good chance of going up so he will go to a 74 but as i said it's just to collect the cards it's not like i'm going to use him in a french team unless all of a sudden he gets some crazy crazy stats but um that should be all for claiming now so we'll send him across and we'll finish off with a few packs then we'll go into the next pack, the 75 plus rated rare player. Uh, we don't expect much from these. If it's a walkout, it's a walkout. If it's a board, it's a board. But as I said, it's most likely going to be between 75 and 80 rated. And then we'll move on to, we'll go for the small Electrums players pack. Like I said, once again, nothing expected of these. Because it's only one rare and I think three players oh no quite a few players but still only one rare and here we go six golds and one rare in 12 items this can be good and it cannot as you can see it's not and then finally it will finish off with the premium gold pack I don't expect much from these packs this is just to get the fodder up for marquee matchups which do provide some good packs uh, sometimes so we'll end the episode with a premium gold pack 
thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video leave a like if you are new here then please consider subscribing it really help me out a lot and i'll see you boys in the next one goodbye